Hey YouTube, it's Christina from K-Stone Beauty, and I have my my glam bag finally, and I'm gonna show you what I got, and I'm also gonna tell you my thoughts about the about the brand or the company. It's another subscription thing like Birchbox, and I talked about it before. But this is my February bag, and I just got it a couple days ago, which was a little pretty late. Um. Anyway, so this is what the bag looks like this month, and it's kind of like, you know, the, a love theme, kind of like Valentine's Day. Um, I really like the bag. It's silky. It feels a little bit better quality than the other other, other ones, but honestly, you, take, you, you spend $10 a month, so it's not going to be like amazing bags, but I think this one's really cool. I love it. Um, and I think it's cool that you get a bag each month instead of a box, like Birch Box. I mean, you can find creative ways to use those boxes, but, um, but I like these bags because, like some other... YouTuber said, she said, you know, if you don't know all the bags, you can just, you know, use them as gifts or something, which I think is a good idea. But so far I have three bags, and I really like this one the most. But I'll show you what I got in my, my glam bag. Um, let's see. Uh, I will say that I, I thought it was a okay, exciting bag. Um, I agree with a lot of glammies, that's what we're called, that I would have preferred a, a little bit more makeup, but, you know, it's, it wasn't necessarily a makeup bag. We kind of got the impression at first because the first bag in December was amazing. It all contained all makeup products. If you want to look back at my December glam bag, you can see what I got then. But anyways, let me start off with the a Freeman mask. And some people were disappointed we got another mask because last month we got a full-size peel mask. But this is not a peel mask, so I'm not like disappointed because I love masks and trying them out. And this is just a normal mask. That you wash off not peel and this is pineapple and, and it's really really great i used it once already it comes with a, um, a pretty decent amount so i have enough for another use but it smells really good it feels refreshing and i like it so far so it says restores radiant skin <sighs> sorry i might get out of breath because i was i try want i want to get this video done before i have to get ready for work i may do another video after i'm you know all ready for work with makeup <laughs> but anyways so the, I thought this was pretty nice and it says here on the little card um, and as you can tell uh, what's her name Burr. I'm horrible I actually did not start watching her videos until I found out about glam bag um, I don't remember her name but she's on, on YouTube but this it talks about what's in the product what's in the products like like Birchbox do, Birchbox does. Um, oh, I was gonna see what how much the Freeman masks are. Um, you can get them at Walmart and stuff. They're about like maybe eight dollars. Um, but it doesn't say how much they are. I like Birchbox because it tells you how much um, the full size full uh, full size products would be, and it doesn't say that on here. So, anyways, I like the mask. I would try to purchase this again. Oh, I'll purchase it um, full size because I like it. Then we got samples of a very, very expensive, I'm um, not quite sure how much it is because I didn't check, Premier masks. Um, more masks. So, I mean, I wish I didn't have to have so many masks, but it's it's a love theme. They want you to make sure you look great, you know, for Valentine's Day or, you know, for a special day. I got a Premier Instant Stretching and Revitalizing Mask sample. And then Concentrated Facial Serum with Vitamin E and see and I heard they're very very pricey full size so then I got a 50% off uh, for the Cinderella mask which is kind of like I don't know if I need it because I'm kind of young but it would be kind of cool and then I could enter it to win a thousand dollars shipping spree if I go to Facebook but it came in a cute little bag I haven't tried the premier mask yet um, I'm not that, that excited about it because I, if it's something super expensive, I probably won't even buy it, to be honest. But it's cool, you know, getting introduced to something I never heard of. Um, I was really excited for this product. It's a NYX Roll-On Shimmer Eyes Face Body. And it's really pretty. I got a really nice color. I know some people were, like, not sure what color they would get. And someone got a black shimmer and they weren't really excited about it. But I got this really pretty blue. And it's really cool because I thought it was just going to be shimmer, like just shimmer. But it's actually a little bit of a, a little bit of a gel, gel feel. Not really jelly, but it's enough to like stick on your hand. But I think it's really pretty. Um, I think these are really cool products. And so we got like 30% off um, 
purchases of more of the roll-on shimmers. So that's cool. You get you get all these um, discount codes and percentage off when you with your glam bags. I think it's cool. Um, and then I got a Shine Control Oil Free Formula from X Out, and I have the the X Out wash face wash like three in one wash, and I love it to be honest. Um, it's the makers of Proactive, and I I liked Proactive. Um, and I think that the X out systems are better. I mean, it's, it's targeted for teenagers, but I have very acne prone skin. I actually started breaking out in different places as I got older, um, an adult. So I have adult acne, which sucks. Um, but anyways, I know people were complaining about this product, but I, and saying like it, it like made it feel like they, like their face stung. But one thing I like about these products, because I have the face wash, I got it from Influencer, a Vox box, and I really like it. I'm also receiving this too from them because I got their badge, so I'm gonna have two of these. But oh well. But I like this. Um, it really does completely like mats your skin. Like there's no oil. I have pretty oily skin, especially in the summer. It's really bad. Anyways, try not to ramble. I like this product. It does feel a little bit of like a tingly, like not really burning, but it was only for like a minute, and then it's just like has like the cooling breeze feel. That's what I like about this product. So even the, the face wash does the same thing. It's like a cool feel. Almost like um, if your, your skin was trying to feel like it's going to burn, there's like a cool effect from the product. And that's what I feel like this does too. And then it just makes my skin really soft and mattified. I love it. So um, I'm not sure if I want to do the system because it's like every, I think it's like $20 a month for the system, kind of like proactive. I think it's just this and this the, the 3-in-1 wash. But... I like X out so far, and if you really are um, acne prone and you have like combination skin, I think it's really this would be a great system. So check out X, X, X out dot com. But uh, yeah, some people were just kind of like, "What?" you know. But I actually like it. Um, and then I it just tells you from you know their stuff like you can get a free gift or something. I don't know. So that was so far. These were the main. Well, not the main products, but the the very big. Well, there's another thing I also received was two chocolates from. What was it? I ate them already. <laughs> it doesn't show you on here. It was like a special treat. It was two chocolates from some brand. I don't remember what it was. I got like a milk chocolate and a dark chocolate, and it was good. It was like their little special surprise for the Glammies. But then the big gift is a gift certificate. A hundred dollar. Um, gift certificate. It's a code, and you you get limitations on it, so it kind of sucks. But it's it's for this brand new me. Um, I don't know if I showed you that. Um, but it's for like the brand new me. I I don't know if that's or noom. It's like uh hot tools and stuff like straighteners and stuff and you get $100 gift certificate and their stuff is pretty pricey and honestly there's really not that many um, options which sucks I think it was very nice of them to include this in the bag I think it might have been something to do with how they're handling their company right now like how things are going people are getting really um, impatient because of their the, what's going on I would go into that because I wanted to, to tell you my thoughts about the, the company but um, I thought it was cool I, I looked online I think I might want to try to get a curling wand um, so I would only have to pay like $30 for it instead of like how much it is, but there's really not that many options on the website, so it was a little bit disappointing, but what else? Overall, I guess I'm, I like it. Um, now I'm going to go into how I feel about my glam. Um, I was very excited when it came out. Of course, it was big hype, big hype. Um, I immediately canceled my Birch Box. I loved Birch Box, and it was a little bit disappointing for the past few months, so that's why I decided to go to my glam, because... It's the, honestly to me, and it looked like it was advertised like this because I know it says My Glam, and it says beauty products and stuff, and it's not really advertised completely on their website like this. But we, I think a lot of people thought it was going to be a, just mostly makeup um, samples and stuff like that. And their first bag was just all makeup. It was amazing. They made it sound like, you know, each month, you know, people from YouTube who are associated with the with the company were going to do like looks with the bag and stuff like that. And so that's what I got impressed of, like. You know, and you had to really, you had to get your subscriptions in really quick. So you really didn't have time to, like, look into it. Um, I know that you shouldn't go in, like, just dive into something. But it was $10 a month. I thought I would try it. So I was a little disappointed when I found out it wasn't just going to be mostly makeup products. But at the same time, I'm, I've am i been liking the bags. But my main issue is, sure, they are very new. 
I gave him the bit of the doubt last month. Um, I know that things are going to be rocky at first, but it, I think it's gotten a little bit, not out of hand, but I think it's just been really disappointing for a lot of people. Um, it's mainly because they haven't been having a lot of shipping issues, a lot, more than I've ever seen in a brand. Um, probably because I never started out with a new brand, but yeah, so a lot of people haven't been getting their bags. Some people haven't gotten refunded. And I know that there's a lot of people to deal with, so it's hard to like keep up with product um, with customers. But I think it's like I just don't know. I don't know much about being in a company. Um, you know, I don't know much about stuff like that. But just to say, a lot of people have been disappointed, and I've got my all my bags. Nothing has been damaged. So some people have gotten damaged goods. Um, so I'm I'm grateful and I'm happy about that. But I just don't like that right now. A lot of us are feeling like each month, the past few months, or a couple months, is like you're thinking, am I going to get my bla my bag this month? Because there's so many issues going on that you, you kind of feel like, I really hope I get my bag, which is a really bad thing to think about. You shouldn't have to hope that you get your bag or the thing that you're paying for. So that's my issue right now. Um, I know it's going to get resolved eventually, and they do a lot of updates on their Facebook. So I really, um, I want to say my guy, you know, to the my gram team that I am very grateful you guys are keeping us updated and you know you're really trying um they, they're talking about how they're going to be getting you know together and be talking about how they're going to prove their company they want us to, you know tell us they want us to give input and feedback and all that stuff they want to know what we want you know what we want to see in in the bags in the next few, few months and stuff like that so I think that you know it's great that they're letting us get involved on Facebook so I I was pretty mad um, about last week because I knew that I was gonna get my bag really late um, See I I made another point because I kind of you know we, You gotta kind of ramp you gotta rant and ramble you know on on certain Spots so that you can feel better and get people's feedback, you know Because I was kind of ranting to some girls on Facebook and I was just saying you know It just it sucks that you have to wait forever especially when they were promising um, they just, just did this new shipping thing where they were going to promise the East Coast people to get their bags first so that, you know, the people in the in the West Coast don't open theirs first and, the, you know, they, uh, you know, open them first and then the East Coast people, you know, already see what they're, what's in the bag. Honestly, I didn't really care about that. I actually think it was kind of not a good, I thought it was a bad choice of theirs to do that, um, to just ship off first. You're supposed to ship every, you know, you're supposed to ship everybody's out at the same time. Like everybody's gonna have to wait. It's gonna, it's just gonna happen. I thought that was a bad, you know, choice. And not to mention that they did, they promised those people, you know, in an email that the people from the East Coast, which I live in the East Coast right now, I didn't receive my bag till the very last minute. Um, it kind of disappointed me because, gr granted, I feel like everybody should have got their shipping at the same time because I just think that's just how everybody does it. You wait for you. You gotta wait. Not to mention that this is um, not like Birchbox. They do sneak peeks of what's gonna be in the bag, so everybody already knows what they're gonna get. So it's not like you know I need my bag first. But because they said that that was gonna happen, I expected my bag to be shipped off before Valentine's Day. So long story short, I got mine very late, and I was wasn't even sure if I was gonna get my bag because there's some people that still haven't gotten bags, and you know there's some people that are still trying to get a hold of my glam. I don't know. And I wanted to make this, wow, this this video is very long. Um, I'm going to try to cut it short now, but basically, I am pretty disappointed at first. I'm going to weigh it out. I'm, I'm going to keep using this 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 uh, subscription because so far I actually think it's it's really great for my budget. Um, I like it better than Birchbox as much as I love Birchbox. Um, I'm, and uh, so far I've gotten my bags, but if I had a very bad experience and I didn't get a bag or it was broken and I didn't get really, I didn't get refunded or I didn't, you know, get much um, replies back from my emails, I probably would have unsubscribed. But because I'm getting my bags, things are going okay. They, um, they want to improve and they're going to improve. I'm, I'm going to continue using my Glam. And for those of you who don't know, really know what's going on, you probably go, should go on Facebook and like them so you know. Um, because right now there's no subscriptions open because it's such a big hype. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of people who have, who have unsubscribed because of things going on. So I don't know why they wouldn't have any subscriptions open, but they don't. Um, so don't like be in a super hurry because you probably should wait until it improves. Because the shipping stuff is really ridiculous right now. Um, I don't know what's going on, so I'm not going to be like 
super mad and demand demand it to get better. But um, just being honest about you know being a customer of my glam, um, I'm a little bit bummed about how things are going. I'm just really happy I got my bag this month. So, like I said, it kind of sucks because I'm gonna be hoping I get my bag next month. Um, and no, nothing goes on wrong with that. But I am excited to see what they're gonna be offering next month too. So, all right. So thank you for watching my rant and whatever. I hope I got my points that I wanted to talk about. Um, yeah, anyways, so I'll just put their Facebook down below and their website. You can um, subscribe to be like in my glam, my glam, but you can't really get the bags yet. But when that opens, you just gotta, that's why you gotta like Facebook and their Twitter so you can know when the subscriptions are open. But all right, I'm gonna get ready for work and if you have any comments below about how you feel or any questions I could try to answer, you know, comment below. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.